Yes, I think we're live. Okay. <laughs> this new format still throws me. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live talk. Yes, I'm keeping them going daily after I finish my 21 day and 30 day challenge. So keep me going. Um, today's topic, I want to take a little side um, perspective on having talked to two different people, male and female, about this. So I've got some content to deliver today. Um, first, let's start with the usual introductions. My name is Barry Selby. Nice to meet you. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I am a love and relationship teacher, expert, author, coach. I hate that term. I still find a better word for that. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And today, I decided to phrase the question in a particular way, which is, as you can tell, um, <laughs> ladies want to have it both ways. The reason I'm saying this is because of two, two, two different conversations I was having with um, Archie Post. It was a conversation with a friend of mine, male, and then a conversation with a friend of mine, female, and I got these two perspectives. And they're both on the same page, actually, but I want to just drop this in your lap to think about. It, and it was too long to put the titles. I'm going to give you the subtitle or the explanation of what I was saying in the title. Um, ladies, it's not workable, it's not cool, it's not effective if you want the man to take care of you and still be a ball buster. That's probably the simplest way of putting it, and it's the most blunt way of putting it. The, <laughs> and I'm going to get a lot of flack for this one, we'll it out there. So many of you ladies are so strong and dynamic in the business world, but it's like giving the man a chance to take care of you, to be the leader. Um, it can be really painful for us men. I think that's the best way of putting it. I'm going to give you some solutions, so bear with me. I'm just explaining some of the, I'm laying out the groundwork first before I give you the answers, the clues. So here's the, here's the, the nuts and bolts as it were. Many of you ladies out there are dynamic. You've taken care of life. You're getting things done. You're making life successful for yourself. You run the show. You have your own business. And the challenge has been that you tend to treat your dates the same way, like a job. You, you achieve it. You get it, make it happen. You get things done. I know I have three relationships like that. So personal experience, I know how it doesn't work. When a man steps up, now again, I'm presuming that you're meeting men who do actually choose to step up in their masculine, their evolved masculine, as I've talked about before, not their macho, I'll get it handled, get it done, because that's going to end up being destructive to you. I'll go there if you need me to, too. But what I'm really feeling is this sense that men, we don't have much of a chance, in some ways, to take charge in a healthy way, to be leaders in the masculine hearty direction, masculine hearty direction, something like that, to serve you and support you if you don't actually acknowledge and accept your feminine. And many of you, unfortunately, have been so indoctrinated by society, by business, by the world, to stay masculine to succeed, even though you don't know that's not what you're, you don't know you're actually doing that, but that's what you actually are doing. You're adopting the masculine way of doing things to get things done, to handle your job and to be successful and be dynamic. And it can be very attractive to men, except that it's actually copying the masculine way and so when it comes to the intimacy and the sensuality of romance, it can be really effed up. That's just a little bit of truth dropping there. So, I think you've got the sense of where I'm going with this. Let me try to put some things on the solution plate. Ladies, I've said this before and I talked about this on Friday. Yes, on Friday. About, um, I called it the, 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 I called it at least five qualities of the evolved feminine. Go back and watch that. I'm not going to give you the whole list now, I'm just going to give you something to think about, but the, the bottom line is this, is that ladies, when you step into your feminine, first, you make room for the man to be in his masculine, which is the whole benefit you'll get from that. Secondly, when you're in your feminine, you actually become more powerful, which may sound contra, contra contraindicated, counterproductive, but it's not true, or contradictory is the word, contradictory is one of those words, fancy words, multisyllabic, um, is that when you let go of your masculine, get anything that's done, which actually is a very contained energy, and you own up to your feminine, which is much more expansive, effusive, and to be blunt, way more sexy. You become a balancing energy to the masculine. It's a balance, not a competition. And when you are together in this place of um, polarity, which creates the attraction, the chemistry, and all that wonderful good stuff, 
it gives him space to step into the role of leadership as a honorable gentleman not a I'm dragging you where I'm going but as a let me escort you this way let me be the leader and to serve you by leading and that is really the essence of this um, I didn't mention this before did I no I didn't on Saturday I was at a, I was at a, um, a gathering of some friends and was talking to a very um, astute and also wise Tantra master from India or Indian of, of origin and studied there and we started and we, and we took that we got down to this very bottom line this very um, I say this in a very simple way really what it is what Tantra really is about it and the way I heard it the way I'm feeling it the way I own it is it a deep reverence and worship of the of the divine goddess that's really what the bottom line of Tantra is in the Indian teaching at least and so it really adds to my understanding and really it really speaks to what informs what I talk about in this work of love and relationships is because the true power of the, of the masculine heart is in worship and service to the divine feminine now ladies you've got to be in that place of the divine feminine to receive it you can't just say I'm woman hear me roar and expect to be loved by the man sorry it doesn't work that simply there's deeper work to do than that but when you are owning your feminine it is with reverence that we come before you as masculine men now I know I'm going a bit out, out on the edge of this for some people who don't go what do you mean by that it doesn't make sense if you need help with this and you need baby steps I can help you with that but I'm, I'm talking further down the road like you know fourth level evolution of this conversation and that talks about on Wednesday by the way yeah, I'm referring back to old broadcasts because that's the truth that's what I've been talking about for the last week well for many of the weeks this is number 74 by the way in a series ongoing Facebook lives this is my passion and work to serve and speak and teach this stuff to you so hopefully you get value from this um, so to truly be in your feminine ladies is how you attract how you enjoy and how you honor relationship with a masculine man men when you're in your masculine heart in your gent in your perspective of being a gentleman of respect and reverence for the feminine you'll be finding yourself attracting women or being around women who are in their feminine and you'll have a much more um, graceful and fruitful and enjoyable relationship but ladies when you want to be a ball buster and a man take care of at the same time that is really conflicting and doesn't work for men so that's really the two perspectives and giving you the answer to the solution to what I was throwing out as a question sorry I'm a bit fuzzy today I don't know why um, it's funny this is the first Facebook live I've done in 50 days that wasn't a part of a challenge it's just free free flowing now and maybe that's the problem in this issue I don't know anyway um, staying on track attempting to stay on track this is my, this is the core of my work in so many ways and what my passion is about is supporting women and being the divine feminine to own their gifts to own their majesty sorry to own your majesty ladies to be in your power your magnificence and to really remember and own and express your feminine mastery your feminine power your feminine majesty in the world because when you do that the masculine is at your feet I hope that works I hope that lands for you that that that's really the the feeling I'm feeling <laughs> it's coming out weird today take this to heart ladies your magnificence your power your divine expression in your feminine is <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving it's also the missing piece on this planet your ability to express your feminine your intention to share your um, gifts your majesty is what we want from you what we need from you what the planet is desiring from you so bring it yeah bring it I for one stand in reverence of that of you and support you in expressing that okay I think it was deep enough <laughs> but again deeper and deeper and deeper um, this is my daily Facebook lives in case you're just joining me haven't seen any before please go back and watch previous ones I've got tons of them on my business page also on my website which is barryselby.com forward slash vlog which is video blog you can see all of them there if you know anybody should watch this because maybe they forgot their feminine heart 
or the masculine heart for the men watching this, please share it with them too. If you want support, guidance and help in this area, this is my specialty. Reach out, message me, I can help you. And uh, join me again tomorrow. I am continuing with these Facebook Lives, at least for now my plan is to go to number 100. It's number 74, so I've got 26 more to go at least. Yes, I like setting myself up some big goals. <laughs> so take care of yourselves. Please take this to heart. Honor yourself, respect yourself, and be in your integrity and your authentic expression. You need it, I need it, the world needs it. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, please join me again tomorrow. And if you missed this broadcast or you're catching the back end, please go back and watch from the beginning. This will be appearing on YouTube shortly. I'll see you again soon. Bye.